60% of the world's population could become infected with the virus. 2003, there was SARS, 2012, there was MERS. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny Jesse. So right about now, <clears throat> We're gonna do another reaction video, but before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. Thank you so much. Get us to 13,000 subscribers, and I know we're gonna get there in between one week. And yes, yeah, so today, 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 we're gonna do another reaction video. This one right here was suggested by a lot of people also, and uh, they say that we should go react to Did Sanguru already know coronavirus is coming? Yes, so uh, today we're gonna, you know, look into this video and everybody knows that this thing is just going crazy all over the world and whatnot. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. 60% of the world's population could become infected with the virus. 2003, there was SARS, 2012, there was MERS. Now there is Corona, new names, but same threat. I think this is Mother Nature's revenge. Here we are, we are a solar system, our sun is here and we are all around. This itself is moving in the universe. This movement takes 25,920 years to complete this cycle. So the larger star which is here inside this, the exact location we do not know whether it is located centrally or somewhere to the side. From the effects and the way the climate changes and the way things happen upon the planet, we believe it is not in the center, it is… it could be somewhere here or it could be somewhere here. It may not be that large, but it's somewhere here, the big star or a big system around which our system is going around. Whenever our system comes to a closer influence with this system, suddenly all the creatures living in this system, they rise to greater possibilities. Whenever our system moves away from this, the creatures living in this system, they come to the lowest level of possibility. When the creatures come to the lowest level of possibility, we say, this is Kali Yuga. So if you add them up, you come to 12,960 to run the four Yugas. Four Yugas two times over is 25,920. The end of Krishna's era is 3,102 BCE. Right now, we are in 2012. That means this is 5114 years since Krishna's era ended. If you take away 2592 years, which is the cumulative number of years considering the two Kali Yugas, which is at the bottom of the ellipse, you get 2,522 years. The duration of Dwapar Yuga being 2,592 years, we still have 70 years left for the completion of Dwapar Yuga. That means 2082 we will be completing Dwapar Yuga and moving into Treta Yuga. the world will go through another upheaval, not necessarily in terms of war, but we will go through upheaval probably in terms of a population explosion and natural calamities and move into the next era of well-being and upward moment of human consciousness. 
the world will go through another upheaval not necessarily in terms of war but we will go through upheaval probably in terms of a population explosion and natural calamities and move into the next era of well-being and upward moment of human consciousness so right now we are moving into treta yuga which is the second best time that can happen in this cycle and krishna also said after over 5000 years there will come a 10000 year period a fabulous time we still we won't make it there but we can set the foundations for it that we can have the joy of creating an atmosphere where there will be a 10000 year stretch of golden time upon the planet this is not all predictions and conjecture this has a very deep rooted understanding with what happens with the human mind in relation to the planet on which we live we don't just live on this planet we are all the planet if you don't understand this today you will understand this when you bury when when calamities come our way there are many ways to handle it let's handle it gracefully <laughs> wow <clears throat> such an amazing video right there by sanguru <clears throat> so um did sanguru already know that the virus was uh, coming or something i think it's not a matter of knowing it's just a matter of um just predicting you know you can just look at the way the world is just moving and you can actually just give your predictions and it it, it will actually come to uh to to fruition or something like that and not forgetting that uh people are psychic you know there are psychic guys out there who can actually see what's going to happen in few days or even in 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 two years and what not sometimes people see things through dreams and uh, sometimes it it does come to to fruition or maybe it, it comes to uh to a point that it it it, it actually becomes true but okay in this case over here a lot of people have been predicting uh a lot of calamities a lot of people have been predicting this coronavirus uh <clears throat> i've gone through two two books uh one is written by by a guy called uh david or something and it it predicted that the virus is going to start from wuhan china and what not it was actually specifying and what not and also another book was talking about the virus that will come and uh it will cause a lot of havoc and then just like the way it it came is going to disappear the exact way like it's going to just vanish really quickly so um Bill Gates also predicted that it's going to be like a flu type of of a virus that is going to affect a lot of people and he actually specified that it's going to kill a lot of it's going to kill a lot of um African people I mean the continent of Africa you get it so <clears throat> these things are they are people who actually predicted it and I feel probably there are people who knew that this thing is coming it can be like a uh, a pandemic that has been introduced by mankind uh, to make sure that this population control or something like that anything is possible you know but to um along the video somebody say that uh it could be a punishment from mad- mother nature i mean it could be a revenge from mother nature that's what he said and anything is possible i mean mother nature could be really hungry with how we humans treat the world and he can t- maybe she decided like hey you know what i'm going to give you a pandemic and there you go so sort yourself and what not the people are going to come out of it they're going to uh, uh probably be the people who will be able to take care of mother nature and what not because if you look at human beings today we, we don't really care about where we live in you get we cut off all the trees we uh we kill animals we drill oil from the ground which is supposedly supposed to be uh 
the blood of the earth according to what people other people are saying i mean we do things that nature doesn't actually uh, accept or something like that i mean we're doing things not naturally i mean it's more of an artificial type of thing maybe that's why mother nature is hungry and probably she said like hey i'm going to give you a pandemic and this is what it is but anyway that can be another possibility but i mean there's a lot of speculation here and there um, no one knows the truth but one day the truth is going to come out and we will actually understand why all these things were happening and why all these things were coming at this particular period of time just like the way sanguru was trying to add up all those mathematics and whatnot and he was saying that we are heading towards a period where there'll be a lot of calamities and whatnot and then when the calamities will subside that's when we're going to reach a level where um uh we're gonna see more greater things as uh, through uh, spirituality and whatnot i mean amazing if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down or comment section below and tell us exactly what you feel about my reaction what do you feel about sanguru on this video right here just let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this riot that is happening that is going around uh today because we are having like one 163 um infections and we're having like 6,000 death tolls of people who are dying of the virus so just let me know in the comment section below what do you think um you can chop it up on the comment section below and if you have any kind of suggestions let us let me know in the comment section below and the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you in the next video and peace out